Lahat. Welcome everybody to Pinoy Cross for the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ and we have familiar face Marky Mark with scarves, not even winter. And we got special guests, Mark, Sweetie, introduce who you what's brought up, with What's you. up, So I got two guys with me who've been Philak for a long time. We got Miko Sarsonis right here and we got Noah Corvesi right there. These guys have been with us through a lot of championships through the past, I'd say, four, five, five-ish years. And yeah, good guys on and off the court. That's good to hear. Thank you for being on the show, guys. I uh, think it's a pleasure to be here. Now let's go straight into the ankle breaker question or the ice breaker question. What was your favorite moment in the past NBA season? Starting with you, Mark. No, um, I'm well, just thinking about it off the top of my head. I'm going to have to say a lot of the stuff in the playoffs, like um, J.R. Smith's game one blunder. Um, <laughs> But That's a for, good one to in, take terms, right away. in terms of actual highlights, um, Jason Tatum killing LeBron, <laughs> but also that was was nice. Nice. Yes. Yes. LeBron that killing nice. the Raptors. Oh, yeah. good. Like, well, you're, you're the one that stuck into your head. I'm gonna say LeBron killing the Raptors because, like, yeah. as much as a Raptors fan, it hurts that like he pretty much like dismantled that game winner, us and that broke, floater, and, like broke our heart. But like yeah. the shots he was hitting, like just as a basketball fan, you just got to be like, wow, this guy is really good at basketball. You respect. Were you a LeBron hater or were you? Nah. I just never. I was never really a hater, just but, yeah. Okay, so now you respect the the king, mm. Miko. Yeah. How about you? All I have to say is when uh, I I forgot who he did it on, but it was when um, James Harden did the step back and he like oh, rolled it Johnson, on. Oh, Weston Johnson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just, uh, <laughs> that was he just nice. looked at dude and just gave him the, yeah. boom. <laughs> <laughs> just gave the, it to him. That then the memes came. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he's like in terms of isolation basketball? You think he's the best one on one right now in the NBA? If you had to choose or pick anyone in, uh, yeah, potentially, yeah, him or uh, Kyrie Irving, I would have oh, to say. Okay. But actually, yeah, not nah, probably Harden still or Alonzo Ball. Oh, <laughs> Alonzo Ball. Yeah, Alonzo. Yeah, no one can stop that shot. It just, it just, it, just, it might not go Sorry. in. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You'd but rather not, have Alonzo shooting the last shot than Harden. Uh, what's, what, what's the score? <laughs> <laughs> if it's tight game, you know, Lonzo yeah. can take that. We got overtime, you know. But if it's yeah. We need that crunch basket, James Harden. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> no. So MVP, yes? Yeah, Don't MVP, definitely, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Should have got it last year, actually. It's true. Yeah. Back to back. Mm -hmm. Back to back. All right, no, you. I'm honestly just Golden State sweeping Cleveland in the finals. That's it. Like, that was my most serious. I was glad. I didn't want LeBron to win. I just had to say, like, like, yeah, JR did some dumb stuff. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. But that's it. Did you did you think uh, Cleveland's last minute uh, when they pumped and dumped like they dumped their whole squad? Did you think that uh, that was a good move? I didn't really think it was a good move to be honest, but it is what it is. Yeah. What was the most surprising thing you think that happened last season that you like? Whoa! Like, when did where did that come from? Or oh, like totally unexpected. DeRozan. 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 Yeah, I thought we were getting rid of Larry. Yeah. And DeRozan oh. left. So I was like, oh. What do you think about their performance in the playoffs? Do you think that it was kind of predicted for DeRozan and Lowry to kind of... You know, yeah, repeat, one, it was one of them. ...to repeat <laughs> itself? Kind of DeRozan, I had zero threes against the Cavs. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. not And he hit stats. so many last... Yeah, yeah, just like, like, the, yeah. yeah the whole season, he was just... It looked like his shot was progressing. He's finally adding exactly. to his game. Yeah. LeBron comes. If he just came... Froze up. Yeah. 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 Did you guys... Were you guys surprised about any teams in general? Like, and I don't know, I was surprised about the Pacers when they came out of nowhere and just like mm -hmm. took the Cavs to seven. I was surprised about Utah. Like Utah? I yeah. Utah, like Donovan Mitchell just yeah. shined that mm -hmm. year. That was a solid rookie year for him. Right? Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure they're going to do good next year yeah. mm -hmm. with the addition of Grayson Allen. Oh, <laughs> oh Grayson Allen. Fan. How about the retired, retired ease, like Kobe retired, like two jerseys. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, yeah, oh, the two jerseys. Yeah, Did he deserve that, like for two jerseys? Uh, he played yeah, he deserved yeah, it. I say, I say yeah. he deserved it. Yeah. He deserved it. Yeah, because of what he did for the, you know, the LA, LA. and everything. That's true. So yeah. Definitely. He stayed committed for what, 20 years? Mm-hmm. Like his whole career. Like That's Madden. his whole career. Yeah, like he just stayed. Like you know, never yeah. left. So. And Raptors, uh, the their season was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. and then they couldn't fall, come through. But who's, I guess, who did you like? Uh, who did you? Were you impressed with on the Raptors squad throughout the year? I like Pascal. Yeah. Shout out, shout out Cameroon. Shout out Joel Embiid. Shout out Luka <laughs> Mabou. But yeah, those guys from, yeah, Pascal he could ball. Like I like, he's kind of like like our poor man's version of Draymond Green, where he could like facilitate, he could defend, he could pretty much, kind of guard one through five. But like I like the way how he's developing. 
mm-hmm. and he's going to be a really solid piece for us if we could keep if we, if we could retain him throughout the years. Yeah, Nico. I would say Van Fleet. Yeah. Just the way he shot the ball like very yeah, well. Same. Like you know, for like nobody thought he was going to come in gunning like that, and he just did his thing yeah, in order to you know maintain a spot on the floor. That's what I was going to say, Van Fleet also. Yeah, there's a lot of players that just like young guys that just came like stepped up for the Raptors too. Like DeLon Wright's one mm-hmm. of them too. Uh, OG was on. I mean, there was expectation on he was supposed to be a top prospect for that uh, for that draft class if it weren't for his uh, injury. So it was a good steal for us. Mm-hmm. OG, we didn't know he was, was going to be this kind of finesse defensively. Uh, I mean, his shot's still a work in progress, but he's there defensively. That's a really good player that they grabbed last year for them. And then I guess another highlight too was PG, like PG coming over. What did you think of PG's performance that season? Um, I don't. I gotta think about that. Like, I don't have. Yeah. I don't have a. I don't have a, a firm stance on how he did, but like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. I'm. I'm indifferent right now to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You, Miko? I think like he didn't really like live up to the expectations and stuff like that, mm. but like you know with Carmelo Anthony, it was like kind of like, expected that he wasn't really gonna do anything. You know, yeah. like like for Houston right now. For example, like they think that um, he's like he's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna do something. Like he's not gonna do anything. <laughs> you don't think so? Nah, you he should just go to China. Really he yeah, should go to China. He's sending it to China. Yeah. Go to China. Yeah. Like, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. And how about you know about PG? Honestly, like PG. Yeah. I couldn't really tell you to be honest right now. Like I don't know how he, how I feel about him coming back because like yeah. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference because Westbrook holds the ball most times, right? So yeah. if as long as he can share the ball, then. I think they're gonna have a solid team and a solid season next year. Mm-hmm. And how scary is Boston too? I guess they are they they are the ones to beat, right? Like mm-hmm. their season last year was something of like watch out for Tatum. But what do you think about Boston? Just in general, the way mm-hmm. they performed during the the whole season last year and in the mm-hmm. postseason, like mm-hmm. how, no, how good can they get? Because yeah, obviously, when when Gordon Hayward went down early, like everyone thought, it was like wow, what yeah. happened? Mm-hmm. But then. Shout out Brad Stevens. That's like like high key, <laughs> my, my favorite coach. coach. Yeah. 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 And like he's just done a great job with like keeping keeping that group focused. And like I'm excited to see how with the return of Hayward and like Tatum, he pretty much became a star. Like and to see how he's gonna Jim. progress with yeah all those young guys who are who are coming up and feeling like they get. And like it's just to see how they're gonna share that load. It's just I just want to see that and then learn from how Stevens mm-hmm. does it, you know, so I could apply it to my guys. Mm, coach respects coach. <laughs> yeah. Nico, about Boston, anything about Boston? I think it just shocked everybody, like, you know, because, mm-hmm. like, like Mark said earlier, like, with, um, what's his name, Gordon Hayward going down and stuff, like, everybody was like, yo, like, what, what are we going to do now, like, you know? First game of the season. But then everybody mm-hmm. started to step up, like, you know, like, it filled up open spots for guys to step in, like Jason Tatum and all that, you know. And like yeah. scary Terry is. I was like, just about to say Rosie. Like yo, his, yeah. oof, like he's he's getting scary Terry. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting you know, scary like, Terry. No, and you? Also, like yeah, all the young guys stepped up. Yeah, yeah scary Terry stepped up also, and also Jalen Brown. Mm. Can't forget about him. Like he had a solid year, mm. and they're gonna have a solid year next year. Yeah. That now now he Kyrie's back. Gordon Harris slowly's coming back. Like I'm hoping he's gonna do well this season. That's gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. 